John Schneider is a well-known actor famous for his roles on TV and in movies. He's been acting for a long time and has made a big impression on people all over the world. Whether you remember him from the Dukes of Hazard or other shows and movies, his acting is loved by many. Tell us your favorite memory or story about him in the comments below. There are lots of interesting facts in this video, so don't miss it. John Schneider left a lasting legacy in the film industry and beyond. He greatly influenced Hollywood through his acting and versatility, making a significant impact on both audiences and filmmakers. Schneider rose to fame in the late 1970s with his role as Bo Duke in the popular TV series The Dukes of Hazard, solidifying his place in Hollywood. Apart from his iconic stint in The Dukes of Hazard, he showcased his talent in various genres, including drama, comedy, and action films. His ability to portray diverse characters earned him respect from peers and fans. Schneider's on-screen presence captivated audiences and drew them into the stories he brought to life. Beyond acting, he also delved into directing and producing, showcasing his multifaceted talents and commitment to the craft. His behind-the-scenes work further cemented his influence in Hollywood. His impact extends beyond his era, with his body of work continuing to connect with audiences worldwide. John Schneider's dedication and passion for storytelling have left an enduring mark on the entertainment landscape. In conclusion, his influence on the film industry is undeniable. Through his talent, versatility, and commitment, he shaped Hollywood, leaving a legacy that persists to this day. John Schneider rose to fame as Bo Duke in the hit TV series The Dukes of Hazard, where he shared a great on-screen chemistry with co-star Tom Wapat. Their camaraderie extended to an episode of Smallville titled Exposed, which incorporated nostalgic elements for fans. Following his time on The Dukes of Hazard, Schneider, along with James Best and Rick Hurst, collaborated on Return of the Killer Shrews. This film marked Best's final role, adding emotional weight to the project. In this sequel, Best played a character hired by a reality TV crew, while Schneider portrayed an adventurous hero, showcasing his versatility beyond his famous role. Beyond television, Schneider also tried his hand at stage productions, appearing briefly in Broadway classics like Oklahoma and Chicago. Despite his brief stage presence, these performances added to his diverse acting portfolio. His career spans various mediums from TV to film and stage and continues to connect with audiences. From Bo Duke to his later endeavors, he remains a versatile actor. John Schneider gained fame portraying Bo Duke in The Dukes of Hazard. His co-star Tom Wapat, who played Luke Duke, was a former Marine Force Recon Sergeant. Thirteen years later, he appeared as a former Marine Force Recon Sergeant in an episode of JAG called Mr. Rab Goes to Washington. Best known for his role as Bo Duke on The Dukes of Hazard, Schneider's performance left a lasting impression on audiences. Catherine Bach, who portrayed Daisy Duke, appeared alongside him in Cannonball Run Roman 2. Schneider reprised his role as Bo Duke in the sequel, Speed Zone. His appearances in these projects showcased his versatility as an actor. John Schneider, known for his roles in various TV shows and movies, has portrayed several memorable characters throughout his career. One of his most famous roles was as Bo Duke in the TV series The Dukes of Hazard. In the show, he played a charming and adventurous character who, alongside his cousin Luke Duke, gets into all sorts of trouble while trying to outsmart the corrupt authorities of Hazard County. One of the most famous quotes from the show is when he says, Just remember, wherever you go, there you are. This line captures the character's carefree attitude and willingness to face any challenge head-on. Another noteworthy role was as Jonathan Kent, the adoptive father of Clark Kent in the TV series Smallville. Jonathan Kent is portrayed as a wise and loving father figure who imparts valuable life lessons to his son, guiding him on his path to becoming the iconic superhero. One memorable scene is when he tells Clark, always hold on to Smallville, Clark. Always hold on to Smallville. This line symbolizes the importance of Clark's hometown and roots in shaping his identity as Superman. In addition to his TV roles, he also appeared in various films, including The Secret Life of the American Teenager and October Baby. In these movies, he showcased his versatility as an actor by portraying characters with depth and complexity. Overall, his roles have left a lasting impression on audiences, with memorable quotes and scenes that continue to stick with viewers. He has proven himself to be a talented actor capable of bringing a diverse range of characters to life on screen. John Schneider gained fame as Bo Duke in the TV series The Dukes of Hazard. 
He portrayed an ex-stock car driver known for his daring stunts, notably driving the General Lee over various jumps. Despite his youthful appearance, he managed to convince producers that he was 24 years old for the role. Hailing from New York City, he surprised everyone at the audition by adopting a flawless southern accent, arriving in a typical outfit of a t-shirt, jeans, and a beer to perfectly fit the character's persona. Every May, he participates in the Silver State Classic Challenge in Nevada, where he races cars with great enthusiasm. Alongside actor Jim Caviezel, he pilots a General Lee model in the competition, with Caviezel serving as the navigator. This remarkable partnership adds an extra layer of excitement to the event, delighting fans of the classic series. John Schneider is widely recognized for his portrayal of Bo Duke in the TV series The Dukes of Hazard. In this show, five of the lead actors took turns directing episodes, with John Schneider directing one episode. During the 1981-82 season, he and co-star Tom Wapat demanded higher pay, citing owed royalties from merchandise sales. This led to their temporary departure and the introduction of new characters, resulting in a decline in the show's ratings. However, the dispute was later resolved, and they returned for the final episodes of the season, after which the replacement characters were written out. In 2010, he reunited with former co-star James Best on CMT Cribs, and in 2012, they co-starred again in Return of the Killer Shrews, a film Best had previously been involved in. John Schneider gained fame as Bo Duke in the TV series The Dukes of Hazard. During his audition, he drove a beat-up truck and had to learn to handle the show's iconic Dodge Charger. He and Tom Wapat, who played Luke Duke, left the show in season 5 but returned later. When they came back, the replacement Dukes were dropped since having four Dukes was too much. Some fans wished all four could have had an adventure together. To land the role of Bo, he fibbed about his age and birthplace. The producers wanted someone older from Georgia, but Schneider was younger and from New York. John Schneider, known for portraying Bo Duke in The Dukes of Hazard, is a father to Lee Michelle Castle, Jason Joseph Schneider, and Kyra Schneider. In the CMT Inside the Duke special, Catherine Bach shared an incident where she thought about leaving the show alongside Tom Wapat and John Schneider. However, they convinced her to stay, explaining that if she departed, there would be no show left to return to. In a season marked by the absence of the main actors due to contract disputes, their character's departure was explained as pursuing careers in NASCAR racing. This explanation created an inconsistency since the characters were on probation for selling illegal moonshine and were not allowed to leave Hazard County. The TV show faced challenges during that time, but the actors managed to navigate through them and the show continued. It's interesting to note how behind-the-scenes negotiations and creative solutions were employed to keep the story going despite real-life conflicts.